It's the north part of Texas, from the Panhandle down to nearly Dallas and Fort Worth. Uh, the district is bigger in area than 13 states, actually. How long have you represented that district? For nearly 16 years. Number one is raising awareness of the problems in Washington, and I think it has been tremendously successful in helping provide an outlet for the frustrations that so many people feel. Um, and, and, and there's story after story about people who don't know what else to do. They go to a Tea Party meeting or rally and end up seeing their doctor, their preacher, their accountant, uh, all sorts of folks who are frustrated and want to make change in, in Washington. So in, increasing the energy, increasing the awareness has been very important. Fielding candidates in, in races around the country has been good and positive. The key uh, thing ahead of us, once the primaries are done, is to make sure that everybody is on the same team and that the conservative vote does not splinter. There are a lot more people interested in becoming involved. I'm fortunate in, in my race. But, but my folks want to be involved in other races. Uh, they essentially say, you vote the way we want you to. What can we do to, in, to still, beyond that, to influence the country? So, for example, I've told uh, people in my district, if you contribute to me this year, I will give away all of the money that you give to me to other candidates in other districts. Some people in my district want to go uh, walk door to door or volunteer in other ways in other districts in Texas or in surrounding states. And, and so looking for something to do to turn this around is a strong motivator. I think the chances are good that Republicans would take a majority in the House. It's going to be much more difficult to do so in the Senate. Uh, but I don't think anybody uh, should, should expect a landslide. It may well be very close in just a few races to determine whether Nancy Pelosi continues as Speaker or whether there's a new Speaker elected. And we've seen a number of elections in the past where just a few votes in a few precincts or districts made a huge difference. And I think the day after the election this November, we may see the same thing.